We have a very interesting class of agents for diabetes, and that's the uh, GLP-1 receptor agonist class. And we have some recent data for liraglutide, a uh, very, very interesting study, the LEADER study, uh, very good data showing a reduction in cardiovascular events that is uh, statistically and I think uh, clinically significant. We have uh, a newer drug called semaglutide, which actually is not yet approved, although uh, it appears to be uh, likely to be approved very soon. Uh, it is a once a week instead of a once a day GLP-1 receptor agonist. It also has very good data in the sustained six cardiovascular outcomes trial. So we have these two agents with some very uh, promising <clears throat> recent data showing uh, clear benefit for cardiovascular outcomes. Uh, everybody is aware of the fact that this is not a given. When we have a drug that treats glycemia, the question is, does it also reduce cardiovascular disease? And the quick answer is a majority of the recent trials have failed to show cardiovascular benefit. So the fact that we have data from these two trials with these two agents for cardiovascular disease reduction is very helpful. Now we also have some data from a similar drug, it's in the same category, and it's uh, the once a week exenatide, so in some ways comparable to semaglutide in the sense that it's given once a week, uh, a different agent. <clears throat> it also showed benefit, although the benefit's a little bit more controversial because it's a test of superiority, which is really our question here was just this uh, far short of reaching statistical significance. So the statisticians are going to say, oh, there's no such thing as benefit with this agent. I think the clinicians among us will say, well, this is probably a class effect at least to the degree of those three agents. Now there's another one called lixacenatide for which the evidence is very convincing that there is no benefit whatsoever for cardiovascular disease. So we have three agents with uh, pretty good to very good evidence for benefit. We have one agent that seems to have uh, no uh, evidence that there is no benefit. <clears throat> and then we have yet another agent that's being used uh, commonly clinically, that's uh, dulaglutide. And that one, we're still waiting for the cardiovascular outcomes data. So a little hard to know whether it will uh, have a benefit or not, given the fact that our results so far are mixed. So we have some very exciting movement here. This class of drugs, which has a lot of appeal, because of, of weight loss and because of uh, very nice glucose control and some uh, other benefits, we now see cardiovascular event reduction. And this uh, has, I think, created a lot of excitement in the field because as we treat a patient with diabetes, we have uh, 12 different classes of drugs that can lower uh, glucose levels. And to find now good evidence with uh, two or three, depending on how you want to look at it, agents in that class that actually show cardiovascular event reduction, it's very exciting and I think very motivating for us and hopefully for the patient as well to prescribe these drugs, to take these drugs, to use them as appropriate along with other agents that also show benefit in cardiovascular disease or may not show as the case may be. Uh, it's a very exciting time I think to be treating diabetes as we're now better empowered to address the question of how do we not only reduce glucose and keep that under control, but how do we also reduce cardiovascular disease, which is the number one cause of both death and disability in patients with type 2 diabetes.